Welcome to the Boost Coaching Swim Tip. Today we're going to be looking at the Ironman New Zealand swim course. What works at one event may or may not be the same experience at the next event, but there are some things that you need to consider as you approach the Ironman New Zealand race. The course is a long rectangular shape that is an out and back course along the Taupo lakefront. The sun rises at 6.59am so there's not too much light as you start the race but as you swim down the course there is the potential of sunstrike so maybe choose a tinted goggle and lighter lens like the Blue 70 Hydrovision blue tinted lens. When you swim down the course you're looking to the left of the hill that you see in the horizon. Watch out for the floating golf hole if you are too far to the left. As you swim back, the back along the course, you're looking for the cliff face that you'll see on the right hand side of the screen. That small cliff face just above the water surface is quite easy to sight when you're in the water and that's the best landmark to focus on on the return leg. Remember the fastest way between one buoy to the next is to swim in a straight line. If you're going to start at the front, be prepared for anything. Remember the fastest age group swimmers are holding 110 to 120 per 100 metres. I think it's important to bilaterally breathe or have good swimmer awareness. By breathing bilaterally you may become more aware of swimmers of similar ability nearby so you have the opportunity to draft off them. If you breathe to one side away from the main field, you may not be aware that you are swimming away from the main field. If you are a weaker swimmer starting close to the shore, you need to realise that you could possibly be adding 2-5 to five minutes onto your swim time. At some point you are going to have to swim out to the turning buoy at the end of the course. Remember to watch out if you are going to start in that position for the floating golf hole down the course. If you are a weaker swimmer and want to start behind the main pack, you will find it a little bit more combative, but there is a chance that you'll get pulled along by the draft of the thousands of other swimmers in front of you. You'll probably take a more direct line down the course as well, as you'll have swimmers beside you most of the way. Remember, set yourself up for success. Get in a good 10-15 to 15 minute warm up before you start the swim. Get your breathing working and the blood pumping to your upper body. The 3.8 km swim is just the start of the day, so choose your start position that will give you the best opportunity to enjoy and succeed in your race. Boost Coaching and Blue 70 wish you all the very best at Ironman New Zealand. Make sure you come and see us at the store on the main street, or come and take part in one of the swim sessions that we're doing on Thursday or Friday. Good luck with your Ironman.